Welcome back to the Ancient Egypt series. Today, we're in Cairo, and we're heading about 5,000 years in the past to visit the oldest intact pyramid in the world today, the Pyramid of Dozier. Let's go check it out. To get there, we travel about 45 minutes south of Cairo. On our way, we drive through the area right outside of the Giza Pyramid Complex, an area that is mostly devoid of tourists. Just to let you know that we're heading now for a very quick visit to Memphis, the old capital. After passing a number of guards, we enter a complex that unveils a colossal statue of King Ramses II. He's often regarded as the greatest, most celebrated, and most powerful pharaoh of the New Kingdom. This is Ramses the Great. Look at this. One of the best remaining sculptures. He's shaped like a bodybuilder. It's the idealistic statue. So, for example, the goose, the goose are perfect parents. They take very good care of their little babies. So they use them as a wood sock. So the beard is straight, the arms are down, and one foot is forward means he's a living person. If his arms are folded, beard is curved, then it means it's a dead person depicted. Beautifully finished, a beautifully decorated. Oh, there's the bread. So we're eating under this tent and they served falafel and kebabs. We just ate at the club party. After passing through a sandy desert and a colossal colonnade, we reach the Dozier Step Pyramid at Saqqara. Step Pyramid of Saqqara. So this pyramid is 150 years older than the pyramids of Giza and the substructure is a giant chamber down below. There's tons of vases filled with food for and other offerings for the god. And then the grave robbers came in and stole all of the buried treasure and the body. So you can't go inside this tomb. Everything is down below. And our guide said that there's a little white area right there. And that's where a staircase is that goes and connects to the bottom. It's fascinating to imagine what's really underneath this pyramid. This is Egypt's oldest stone monument, even older than the pyramids of Giza. And you can see another one behind. On the right, a pyramid very clear. On the left, you can see two, one in front of the other. Yes. Mm -hmm. The little one is not a pyramid, that is a hell of sand. Oh. Right? Yeah. The one behind is called the Bent Pyramid. Step from left, the Bent Pyramid, and the first complete pyramid on Earth on the right. So these. Inside the tomb, and there's all these really cool hieroglyphics on them, telling the story of daily life. Look, no, 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 no. Look, on a boat, and she's standing, smelling the lotus. Look, she's smelling the lotus flower. That is the princess, her servants behind her. Look at the servants behind her. Look, everyone, a beautiful scene. She's watching the whole thing. Look, a leather. Look. A fox attacking the birds and the nests. Look, her catching fish. Look 
at the hippopotamus. Look oh at the two gosh. hippopotami fighting each other. My favorite. Look at that crocodile giving birth to a baby one, and the crocodile is waiting to eat it. The hippopotamus is giving birth, and the crocodile just waiting to eat the baby hippopotamus. This is beautiful, everyone, as you can see here. Now, please. Put them It's the best one because, as you can see, it has got the best colors, correct? But what do we have in this room? Where is the princess? She's at the very end of the wall, sitting on a chair, smelling the lotus flower, the symbol of nobility. One of the 11 corridors, everybody, which runs underneath the, the pyramid. Wow. Crossing the road. Just a normal day. <laughs> He's on the sofa. Aside from the step pyramid, the Egyptian city of Zakara is also famous for its hand-tied carpets. Here, we enter a school that gives the educational opportunity for students to stay in their town, earn a good wage for a skilled trade, and demonstrate these beautiful carpets. Hello? <laughs> Mama? Look how fast you guys are. Look at this. Well, we have four types of handmade carpets. We have silk. The foundation is silky too. We have pure cotton. As you know, Egypt is so famous for cotton. We have the woolen carpets and finally, we have the tapestry. To make the colorful carpets, it starts with a drawing, and it's absolutely mesmerizing to watch how fast they are. Doing the weaving. Work one person, so one square meter takes him about four, five, seven months seven to me. These carpets are a unique gift, and depending on the materials used, can sell for thousands of dollars, providing a boost to the local economy. Oh, hey, oh, he's looking at us. It's time to go. Now it's time to head back into the city of Cairo, where we get a glimpse of how the locals live. William came to Egypt in 1798, and we had a lot of the French influence in the Qadaris. That one in that terracotta color. What is that building for? Who owns it? The man who built Heliopolis. Baron Omba. After passing through apartment complexes, mansions, and mosques, we finally reached Cairo City Center. We hope that you enjoyed this visit to the Step Pyramid and Memphis. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button, share with your friends, and subscribe for more travel videos.